The obvious is that which is never seen until someone expresses it simply. If the grandfather of the grandfather of Jesus had known what was hidden within him, he would have stood humble and awestruck before his soul. Most people who ask for advice from others have already resolved to act as it pleases them. Poverty is a veil that obscures the face of greatness. An appeal is a mask covering the face of tribulation. Pain and foolishness lead to great bliss and complete knowledge, for eternal wisdom created nothing under the sun in vain. Nor shall derision prove powerful against those who listen to humanity or those who follow in the footsteps of divinity, for they shall live forever. Forever. What difference is there between us, save a restless dream that follows my soul but fears to come near you? The lust for comfort, that stealthy thing that enters the house a guest, and then becomes a host, and then a master. Wisdom stands at the turn in the road and falls upon us publicly, but we consider it false and despise its adherence. Many a doctrine is like a window pane. We see truth through it, but it divides us from truth. If my survival caused another to perish, then death would be sweeter and more beloved. If you cannot work with love but only with distaste, it is better that you should leave your work. Coming generations will learn equality from poverty and love from woes. Much of your pain is the bitter potion by which the physician within you heals your sick self. The person you consider ignorant and insignificant is the one who came from God, that he might learn bliss from grief. You give but little when you give of your possessions. It is when you give of yourself that you truly give. Art is a step from what is obvious and well-known toward what is arcane and concealed. Poetry is a deal of joy and pain and wonder, with a dash of the dictionary. They consider me to have sharp and penetrating vision, because I see them through the mesh of a sieve. When we turn to one another for counsel we reduce the number of our enemies. Death most resembles a prophet who is without honor in his own land or a poet who is a stranger among his people. Hallow the body as a temple to comeliness and sanctify the heart as a sacrifice to love, love recompenses the adorers. You have your ideology, and I have mine. Say not, I have found the truth, but rather, 
I have found a truth. I wash my hands of those who imagine chattering to be knowledge, silence to be ignorance, and affection to be art. Love possesses not nor will it be possessed, for love is sufficient unto love. Wisdom ceases to be wisdom when it becomes too proud to weep, too grave to laugh, and too selfish to seek other than itself. The just is close to the people's heart, but the merciful is close to the heart of God. Faith is an oasis in the heart which will never be reached by the caravan of thinking. The most pitiful among men is he who turns his dreams into silver and gold. You pray in your distress and in your need, would that you might also pray in the fullness of your joy and in your days of abundance. A little knowledge that acts is worth infinitely more than much knowledge that is idle. 